The Turnbull government has announced a crackdown on foreign interference in Australian politics and national security. Proposed laws include a ban on foreign political donations, new criminal offences, and a transparency register for those acting on behalf of foreign governments or organisations. Prime Minister Malcolm Turnbull carefully emphasised that the proposals are not focused on China's influence in Australia. But, as the Lowy Institute's Ewan Graham put it, there's an 800-pound panda in the room. The proposed criminal offences will significantly expand the scope of existing laws against espionage and treason. This will make it easier to prosecute spies and other foreign nationals who seek undue influence over Australian business or politics. However, the new laws pose risks to whistleblowers and journalists. They suggest the concept of national security is continually expanding. Further reading, ban on foreign political donations is both too broad and too narrow, and won't fix our system. Espionage The criminal code currently sets out an offence of espionage that is punishable by 25 years imprisonment. The main offence applies where someone communicates or makes available information that concerns Australia's security or defence. The person must intend to prejudice Australia's security or defence, or advantage another country's security or defence. Under the proposed changes, this offence will attract a maximum penalty of life imprisonment. Where a person recklessly endangers Australia's security or defence, this will be punishable by the current penalty. The new espionage offences will apply to possessing or receiving information, in addition to communicating it. They will protect a broader range of information, including unclassified material. Other new offences, punishable by 15 years imprisonment, will target preparation for espionage and the theft of trade secrets. Foreign interference proposed offences for foreign interference will target conduct not ordinarily considered to be espionage or treason. Currently, the federal offence of treason describes very rare and serious conduct, such as assassinating or capturing the Queen or Prime Minister. These new offences will target covert, deceptive or undisclosed conduct that is directed, funded, supervised or undertaken on behalf of a foreign interest. The penalties will range between 10 and 20 years imprisonment. To constitute foreign interference, the conduct must be intended to. Other new offences will target the support or funding of foreign intelligence agencies. These will be similar to existing crimes for supporting or funding terrorist organisations. Are the new offences needed? The changes will make it easier to prosecute foreign nationals who intentionally interfere with Australia's business political or foreign policy interests. Where such influence cannot strictly be described as impacting on security or defence, successful prosecution under the existing espionage or treason offences is very difficult. The government's other justifications are much weaker.